first bullet point I have there is does this trade make the Bucks clear title favorites? Because like I said, they just traded for a top 75 guy to pair with their own top 75 guy in Giannis and still were able to keep Chris Middleton again because he can't be traded because he just signed the extension and Brooke Lopez as well. It got off of Drew Holiday. Damian Lillard is going to come in and play that exact position. This team is, I mean, like, where does this duo actually even rank in the NBA right now? Because I think they're probably the best duo in the East pretty handily. And it might be the best duo in the NBA right now. Bro, we made a video a long, long time ago where we get we picked a superstar. Um, and then we say, yo, what is the perfect duel? What is the perfect player to put around the superstar? When, when it was up to Giannis, I said Damian Lillard. To me, this is the absolute 100% most perfect fit for Giannis as far as a duo. Mm -hmm. So to go to the question... Are the Bucks the clear title favorites? One hundred percent, in my opinion. Like I, I think it's like they're they should one hundred percent be the favorites. Like no question in my mind, they should be the favorites. Um, like especially if we're just gonna talk about the East, it's like yeah, Boston improved a little bit. They got they just made some changes to their roster when they got Przingis and traded Marcus Smart. So their roster is a little bit different. But this move for the Bucks just made them even better. Like they were already people. They were already they were the one seed. seed. Were the one seed. They already were the one seed. And it's like you add arguably a top 10 player, like one of the a top three point guard, just someone who is so like as great of a shooter as he is, as great of a scorer as he is, to pair that with Giannis. Like, can you imagine a Damian Lillard Giannis pick and roll? Like with, with Brooke, with, with Chris, Brooke, what can you help on? And they can, nothing. can't help off of nothing. They everyone right. can space the floor. Giannis. Damien, you gotta guard Damian Lillard like you do Steph. Like you yep. gotta guard him all the way out here. Plus Pat, feet. That's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, the spacing is insane. Um, you still with Damian Lillard's case, obviously you lose a, bit, a little bit of perimeter defense, but it's like you still got Brooke and you got Yano on the back end that could clean all that up. Um, as far as a perimeter defender, I mean, I guess you can hope that Middleton steps it up a little bit. I mean, coming off his injuries, that he could be a little bit better of a defender because obviously missing Drew is gonna hurt in that aspect. But what Definitely. you're gaining. To me, 10, 10 times worth it, bro. Mm -hmm. 10 times worth it. So, yeah, in my opinion, East, West, and this is coming from a Lakers. The Lakers fans love the Lakers. The Bucks are the favorites, bro, and they should be 100%. I could not agree more. Skip Bayless tweeted that Drew Holiday – or the, the Bucks losing Drew Holiday and getting Damian Lillard is actually – they're a downgrade. Like, they're worse now. Bro, I'm so you. With you. My fault. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, you know, if Skip said it, it's probably the wrong one. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. There's like anything that's coming out of his mouth should not even be taken seriously. Like, right. cause what are you even talking about, bro? It's wild. Um, but I, I couldn't agree more than with everything with everything that you said. It I genuinely think this is probably the best duo pairing in the NBA right now. Like you said, the spacing between them two, aside from Steph Curry, what could have been a better point guard to pair it with Giannis? The gravity that the two of them are going to put on the court that give Chris and Brooke and whoever is playing at the two, whether it's – I think you have Monte Morris now, right, or Malik Beasley, one of the two of them. Um, doesn't who, matter. Literally, whoever is in there. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> open shots all day. Because like I said, you're you going to have to pick a poison. Either y'all are going to die by this Damon Giannis pick and roll, which I wouldn't advise because what, what are you supposed to do? You can't go over. You can't go under. You got to play the role hard. Like, it, it's too ridiculous to defend. And then if y'all do want to help, well, here's Chris Middleton. <clears throat> or here's Brooke Lopez. Like, it is going to be a nightmare for people to defend night in, night out. Like you said, the only real takeaway that – you could give as a negative for the Bucks is like you said, the perimeter defense losing Drew is going to hurt a lot in that aspect. But what you are gaining in offense is really, I mean, on another level, arguably a top two shooter of all time, but like really at worst, like a top five shooter at all time and probably higher than that. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro. A mess. 
Yo, this is crazy, bro. And it's like, to me, I think it, I mean, obviously Steph Curry is a better player than Damian Lillard, but I, I just like the fit even more than if it was Steph Curry because I, Giannis needs a closer, in my opinion. Like you've mm-hmm. seen with Chris Middleton, he had to be the closer in pretty much all of their playoffs runs because Giannis can't score p- from the perimeter. And Damian Lillard is like the definition of clutch when it comes to clutch in the NBA. He's the definition of a closer. Yeah. So it's like he, then they score so differently. Like, they both can average 30, but Giannis' 30 is completely different than, than Damian Lillard's 30. Mm-hmm. So it's like come down to late games where obviously Giannis doesn't want the ball in his hands because he doesn't want to shoot those free throws or he just can't score. Like, say they're da- they're down two or they're down three and they need a three or something like that. Like, you have Damian Lillard that can has, has hit those shots already and is perfectly fine with taking those shots. So to me... Absolutely match made in heaven, bro. Honestly, I I can't, bro, I can't wait to watch it. I I am gonna watch so many Bucks games, bro. I can't wait to just see them on the court together. Man, like it's gonna be insane. The jersey swap was so weird to look at, bro. Oh yeah, it's gross. so <laughs> weird to look. Like I think mentally, I was prepared for the heat. Yeah, like, I, I figured it was coming at some point. Maybe it's during the season, but it was gonna be Miami to see the Photoshop of him. With the Motorola jersey patch and the Milwaukee Bucks jersey, I was like, whoa. I ain't see that coming, bro. I nah. did not see it coming at all. This is, to me, one of the more out-of-left-field trades, especially for one that's been so publicized and so drawn out. Like you called it a saga. It really has been a saga. Multiple seasons of this. Are they going to trade him? They're clearly going mm-hmm. into a rebuild, but they keep denying it so that they don't want to upset him. Like, it. So glad that this is over because it was way, way overplayed out. Um, but yeah, Damian Lillard in the Eastern Conference, he's gonna play Heat a lot, which I know, bro. If y'all, I said it in the, the short that I made as soon as the news broke. If y'all know a Heat fan, family member, friend, bro, just, just send him a text, give him a call, bro. Tell him you love them, bro. They're going through it. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're going through it. We know a couple, and they're uh, they're not they're not happy right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, honestly, I don't care what Pat Riley and I don't care what they say. They were all in on Damian Lillard. They weren't trying to be desperate, but all of your offseason moves was looked like yeah, we're just making room for Dame. Like right. that's what it is. Like we're just they, they for really Dame. ain't they really ain't do much. They just lost stuff. <laughs> like, they just lost everything. It was like, but we everyone was like, nah, it's fine. Like they're getting Dame, so it's right. literally fine. Now I don't know if you've seen it. There was like a report that was like the Heat are interested in Drew Holiday. I, that's a good move for them. It is. Like, nice what do you do now? Device. Right, you got to do something. Yeah. Uh, so Drew Holiday would make a lot of sense. That defense even scarier. Like that is true. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I didn't even think about that <laughs> defense. You know they right. they just get great defenders everywhere. We'll just figure. Could it you? Out. You got Drew and Jimmy guarding some stuff at the top. Little screen action. Oh well, let somebody try to get through. Here come Bam. <laughs> like, Literally. bro, that's terrifying. Um Trey Young gonna have fits. Oh my yo. god. <laughs> Trey Young is gonna be oh, you're gonna have nightmares about the matchups. That would be that would literally be Trey Young hell. That would be awful. Oh, yeah. That Absolutely. would be terrible. Um yeah, I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to see Milwaukee games this year. I can't wait to see him go play Portland in Portland. He gonna like they ass. It, oh. It's gonna be out of pure respect for he gonna he gonna chalk it up to the fans. He gonna be like, bro, all these people still wearing my jersey. Like I gotta, I just gotta drop seventy again. <laughs> like, hey, imagine that he dropped seventy in, in Portland. That would be nuts, <clears throat> bro. It's gonna be yeah. It's, I can't wait, bro. I can't wait to see the the Bucks Boston matchups. Those are already always good, but now it's like, damn, those are always gonna be even better. Sixers is just they're not even in the combo right now. Mm-hmm. They're just by the way by the wayside. But yeah, just bro, can you imagine? Like I've seen talk shows talk about it. Like, just think about the potential finals matchups, like Bucks, Nuggets, Giannis. Honestly, it's like two top two of the best duos in the league. Yep. But Bucks, Nuggets. You got Giannis versus Jokic. It could be Bucks Suns. That's still gonna be a good match. Crazy. It could, it could be Bucks Lakers. It could be like, yeah, bro, the matchups is just, man, I can't wait. I just hope everyone stay healthy. I pray to God everybody mm-hmm. stay healthy. At least for the playoffs, because I need to see this. Like, I'm already ready for playoff basketball at this point. That's literally the only thing that could, I think, stop this Bucks team right now. Like, we on paper, 
clearing away title favorites, bro. Mm-hmm. It's clearing away. They have very little super exploitable holes because even what you can say about their perimeter defense, Giannis and Brooke are DPOY candidates year in, year out. They will patch up those holes. So it's mm-hmm. like, what can you like? Where can you really point at on this roster and be like, "Yeah, this is going to be the kryptonite," other than somebody potentially getting hurt? Which you could say mm-hmm. that about any team. Yeah, exactly. It's, there's no real weaknesses. You can't point one out right now, right? Because I'm not too concerned about depth. We're early in the season; they'll figure it out. Yeah. Buy out market always. You get a couple of vets that could play throughout the season. You're going to be able to potentially get vets like. They're going to know that this is a ring opportunity. They'll be all right. So I'm not really concerned about depth. Just injuries. Just the injuries that I think could really stop this team. That would be the only thing in their way. Mm-hmm. Um, 